uh, on a horrible afternoon in very difficult uh, conditions in an enthralling game of football? Yeah, I thought we were outstanding first half. I thought we dominated the game, scored two wonderful goals and we were, you know, our attacking play was fantastic. Midfield three were wonderful. Um, we, just that period after we get the second goal, you just wanted to see it out. You know, we give the goal away and gives Wednesday a bit of encouragement. But that was the only shot on target they had first half. And then second half, you know, you away from home, you get under a bit of pressure. But I didn't think we were in any real danger. And to be honest with you, Craig had two great chances, really good chances to put the game well beyond doubt before you have the last hurrah in the last five or ten minutes. But it's a wonderful win. We, um, we asked them to go and win the game today because just a little run with been on, but we looked like back there best today and um, it sets us up really well for next week now. First half, uh, you mentioned the midfield three, you bossed the game. Josh Vella played in that role today, uh, how do you feel he did? I thought he was outstanding. He tired a wee bit towards the end, but I mean, you can understand that, the amount of you know, coverage he did at the pitch, but his, his play, his poise, his balance on the ball, you know, he's fantastic. Um, his work rate, him and Dan's and Prattley complemented each other very, very well today. I was delighted with them three. And, and Heskey and Davis up front were a real threat all afternoon. I thought Heskey's experience is, you know, you're seeing what, how invaluable he is to us at the minute. And, um, you know, Craig can learn from that. And I thought Craig was excellent today. If he'd have scored the goals, it would have made my afternoon a lot easier. But I can't ask much more from them, really. The penalty kick came at a crucial time, really. As you say, you just got that second goal. Uh, what were your thoughts on the award of it? Looking at it, you know, probably no complaints. I think Matty's, I assume it was given against Matty, he's probably caught him with his trailing leg, so no complaints there. Um, but I didn't think the referee for both teams was, was great, but I'll leave it at that. Second half, uh, Sheffield Wednesday came more into the game in terms of an attacking threat. When you needed to, you dug in, hung on in there, and a great save from Andy at the end there. Yeah, I mean, this is what I've learned about this league. You know, at, at Celtic, you dominate most games when you're in control. It, it's, it's very, very even spread. So there is times when we're going to be under pressure. Uh, there is times when you're going to need your goalkeeper, particularly away from home. But you know the the effort and the commitment the players are putting in for the club, not for me, for the club, is fantastic. And I think the fans can go away very happy for them today. And I'm proud of them. I'm looking forward to a huge game next week. We can all look forward to. And the effort on the, a pitch like this today it was tremendous, wasn't it? Because it must have been very difficult for the players to play on. Yeah, but they played, you know, and. Uh, I asked them to show a bit of mental strength today and they certainly did that. So it's a great win, you know, great win in the context of this little run we're on. So it's one defeat in 11 or 12 now and then, you know, that puts the dressing room in a really good place. You mentioned the cup tie next week for you personally, uh, taking your team to Anfield, how much are you looking forward to that? I'll be very excited, you know, very proud, you know, you know I've taken teams to the new camp and Juventus and places like that, but the good Anfield with Bolton, you know, it's, it's a great draw for us and there's no pressure on us, we can really go and express ourselves against a, an excellent side and it'll be interesting.